Let's begin by getting a little bit more comfortable with the interface. So this is what we'll see when we first start up 3ds Max. At the very top, this is going to be our main toolbar. It's going to be comprised of this list of menu uh, text items and then some icons right underneath those. As far as the menus go, you can see some typical menu items, the file menu, the edit menu, and then you get into things like tools, groups, views. And really, if there's something that you don't know where it is, you can't find it, it's probably in a menu somewhere. If you can't find the more easily accessible spot for it to be, you'll be able to find it somewhere within a menu, most likely. Here we can see there are modifiers that we can add. Here's one just for animation, all the way down to rendering, customizing your interface and things like that, scripting and so forth. You can also change your workspaces. There are workspaces designed for specific things. There's a design standard. Right now we're just using the default, so we'll stick with that. The icons underneath contain things like undo and redo. There are uh, snapping options, your coordinate system, symmetry, lots of different options in here that you can kind of toggle off and on. You can also access different windows that can pop up. So your material editor, curve editor, things like that are going to be located here on this bar. As we move directly underneath that, you can see it's sort of hidden here, but this is going to contain our graphite modeling tools. So right now we don't have any objects in our scene. There's not really anything to look at here, but this is where we'll have some tools that we can access in this sort of ribbon that goes from left to right horizontally across the screen as we start to work. And we'll see that in action a little bit later. As we move over to the right, this whole right side is going to consist of the command panel. And the command panel is where a lot of the things that we're going to do are going to happen. And the command panel consists of several different panels kind of sandwiched on top of one another. And we can select those panels just by clicking the little tabs. Here we have the create panel. This is where we're going to be able to create different objects. Could be geometry, could be lights, lots of different things that we want to bring into our scene. We can create those here. And then the modify panel will allow us to modify those by using a stack of tools that are going to work together to create the final look of whatever it is that we're working on. Okay, and then there's lots of different tabs here. We can affect the, the hierarchy. We've got the motion panel and so forth. Okay, so this whole thing can be referred to as the command panel. Down here on the bottom, we have some animation specific things. So we've got the time slider. We've got our playback controls. We've got our uh, animation controls where we can set keyframes. In the far right corner, in the lower right corner, we have some navigation controls. So we're going to talk about some navigation hotkeys, but you can also access those navigation controls by clicking down here. As we move over to our left, on the left side, this is our scene explorer. And this is where we're going to be able to see the different objects in our scene listed in sort of a hierarchy. So once we start to bring in lots of things into our scene, kind of a spreadsheet that we can look at all the different objects, could be geometry, again, lights, cameras, whatever it is, we'll be able to see it in here. We'll be able to filter what it is that we're looking at. If we happen to have a bunch of stuff in our scene and we need to kind of pare that down, we can do that in our scene explorer. Now in the center, these are our 3D viewports. And right now you can see four of them. If we look at the labels, you can see this one is the top view. This one's the front and this one's the left. And then the lower right is the perspective view. So we're seeing the same space through different views top, left, front, and perspective, kind of a three-quarter view. Now, right now, we're seeing all four of these at once. If we hit Alt-W, we can maximize that viewport and just see that one. If we'd like to navigate around our viewport, we're going to use the middle mouse button. We can move back and forth by doing that. If we use the middle mouse button plus Alt, we can orbit. So you can see we're orbiting around a central point. If we use our middle mouse button plus Alt and Control, we can move in and out. So the constant here is going to be the middle mouse button. And then with our other hand, we're going to be going back and forth between Alt, Alt and Control, and just no modifier key at all will let us move around like that. Again, Alt W will take us back to our four view. And we can come in here and you can see whatever viewport we're in is highlighted. And when we hit Alt W, that's the one that's going to be maximized. There are also other elements of our interface that we will look at when it comes time to do that particular thing. For instance, there's a material editor that we can use to create the different looks of the surfaces. And that'll come up as a kind of a pop up window. 
We can also bring up a render window when we try to render a final image, and that'll come up as well as sort of a floating window. So there's lots of different elements of the interface. This is just kind of a really broad overview, just so you kind of get a little bit more comfortable before we start to jump in and look at some of the specifics of working in 3ds Max. Speaking of that, let's go ahead in the next clip and take a look at creating models. So we'll talk about geometry in general, and then we'll take a look at more of a finished model and use some of 3ds Max's modeling tools to do some work on that. So let's do that next.